With the increasing number of foreign diesel electric air independent propulsion submarines, the United States Submarine Force relies on its technological superiority and the speed, endurance, mobility, stealth, and payload afforded by nuclear power to retain its preeminence in the undersea battle space. U.S. submarines are capable of and conduct a vast array of missions, and the U.S. are still constructing more and more. Many new upcoming submarines of the U.S. are technologically advanced and is expected to be more capable than any other submarines of the world. Let's have a look at them. The Hyman G. Rickover USS SSN-795 She will be a nuclear-powered fast attack submarine of the Virginia class. The second of its kind to be named in honor of Admiral Hyman G. Rickover, a pioneer in the nuclear navy. She is manufactured by General Dynamics Electric Boat. She was laid down on 11th May 2018, launched on 26th August 2021, and was christened on 31st July 2021 in Groton. The new version of the Rickover is a part of multi-mission submarine that performs a variety of peacetime and wartime missions. The submarine is designed for a broad spectrum of open ocean and littoral missions, and she will be armed with Mark 48 Advanced Capability Torpedoes, Tomahawk Land Attack Missiles, Mark 60 Capture Mines, Advanced Mobile Mines, and Unmanned Underwater Vehicles. The New Jersey SSN-796 She is a nuclear-powered Virginia-class attack submarine. New Jersey's construction reached pressure hull completion in February 2021, and she was christened on 13th November 2021 and launched on 14th April 2022. She is the first U.S. Navy attack submarine designed for a mixed-gender crew. New Jersey is expected to be delivered to the Navy late in 2022 and should be commissioned shortly after. The first to look forward to executing the waterborne test program and working towards sea trials so to be delivered to the Navy soon. The warfighting capabilities of this submarine have been greatly improved by the cooperation of numerous new technologies and innovations that increase firepower, maneuverability, and stealth. The Iowa SSN-797 She is a Virginia-class submarine which will be the fourth U.S. Navy vessel named for the state of Iowa. Secretary of the Navy Ray Mabus officially announced the name on September 2, 2015, during a news briefing at Iowa State University. She was laid down on 20th August 2019. SSN-797 is under construction at General Dynamics Corporation's Electric Boat Shipyard in Groton. The crew operates under Submarine Squadron 4, which is headquartered at Subbase NLON. She is designed to excel in anti-submarine warfare, anti-ship warfare, strike warfare, special operations, intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, irregular warfare, and mine warfare. USS Massachusetts SSN-798 The Virginia-class submarine is still under construction at Newport News Shipbuilding in Norfolk, Virginia. She was laid down on 11th December 2020. She is the class's 25th boat overall and the 8th boat to bear Massachusetts' name. SSN-798 is scheduled for commissioning in 2023. Newport News Shipbuilding Virginia class submarine construction, Vice President Jason Ward said, our highly skilled shipbuilders are driven to serve the nation by delivering great submarines that help ensure America's undersea superiority. Idaho SSN-799 she is a Virginia-class submarine which will be the fifth U.S. Navy vessel named for the state of Idaho. On August 24, 2020, at General Dynamics Electric Boats Ponset Point facility in North Kingston, Rhode Island, a keel-laying ceremony was held. Idaho is projected to cost around $2.6 billion. The interior of a nuclear submarine scheduled to be built soon will be adorned with detailed work and displays extolling Idaho's history, natural wonders, and military heroes. The USS Idaho is expected to be christened in the fall of 2023 and then soon will be commissioned. USS Arkansas SSN-800 This Virginia-class nuclear-powered attack submarine is currently built to be used by the U.S. Navy. She is the 27th boat of the class. The future USS Arkansas will be the fifth naval vessel to bear the name. 
She was ordered on 28 April 2014 and named during a ceremony on 15 June 2016 by Secretary of the Navy Ray Mabus. Construction began in March 2018. With the improved stealth, sophisticated surveillance capabilities, and special combat modifications on this submarine will allow it to fulfill the needs of the Navy's many missions. Utah SSN-801 This Virginia-class submarine is the second U.S. Navy vessel named for the state of Utah. Secretary of the Navy Ray Mabus announced the name on September 28, 2015, at a ceremony in Salt Lake City, Utah. The last submarine with the Utah name was the USS Salt Lake City, which was decommissioned in 2006. The SSN-801 was ordered on 28 April 2014, and she was laid down on 1 September 2021. On this day, General Dynamics Electric Boat celebrated the keel laying of SSN-801 Utah at a ceremony held at E.B. Quonset Point. She is expected to be christened next year in 2023, and will enter service after that. Last but not the least, we have USS District of Columbia SSBN-826. She will be the lead boat of the Columbia-class ballistic missile submarines in the United States Navy and the first vessel of the Navy to be named for the District of Columbia. The ship is currently being built at General Dynamics Electric Boat Shipyard in Quonset Point, Rhode Island. On June 4, 2022, A keeling ceremony took place at the shipyard. The Columbia class as a whole will take over the role of submarine presence in the United States Strategic Nuclear Triad Force. A total of 12 submarines are planned, with construction of the lead boat, District of Columbia, beginning in 2021. The estimated cost of the Columbia class design and technological development is $4.2 billion. The U.S. Navy Budget Office revealed on June 7, 2021 that the District of Columbia's first submarine would cost a total of $15.3 billion, but that figure also includes program-wide planning expenses. Completion of District of Columbia is scheduled for 2030, followed by her entry into service in 2031. All 12 submarines are expected to be completed by 2042 and remain in service until 2085. With this, the buzz is signing off for today. If you've enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit that notification and subscribe button for more videos from the buzz. Thank you guys for viewing in. Bye -bye.